Hello friends, today we will discuss about very short notes on peptide bond. We all know that peptide bond is an unbranched sequence of amino acids where two or more than two amino acids join together to form dipeptides, tripeptides, etc. with a removal of one molecule of water. So here is the formation of peptide bond that contains C alpha carbon. C alpha carbon at the end terminal contains amino group whereas another C alpha carbon at C terminal A end contains carboxyl group. So first alpha C alpha carbons contain R1 group, second C alpha carbon contains R2 group, this R1 and R2 groups are nothing but different functional groups and here comes the formation of peptide bonds now peptide bond contains a planar configuration that means all c alpha c n and c alpha carbons are present these all groups four groups are present in a same plane so the bond length of c n bond is 1.45 angstrom whereas whole peptide bond length is less than cn bond length and it is 1.33 angstrom now another feature is peptide bond contains partial double double bond that means a bond between c and n is partial double bond that means for approximately 40% of peptide bonds are double bonded whereas 60 to 70% are single bonded character so due to this partial double bond character it contains different angle of rotations that denotes as an omega so omega angle of rotation has two basic conformations trans and cis but generally the trans cis ratio is 1000 raised to 1 so at every 1000 trans configuration we find only one cis configuration so it is sterically allowed and one of the most favored conformation of peptide bond is trans conformation in that rotation angle of rotation in trans conf uh, configuration is 180 degree whereas angle of rotation in cis configuration is zero where all both c alpha carbon are present in the same planar whereas in trans configuration both c alpha carbon are present in an opposite plan so this is the basic difference between trans and cis conformation and generally this angle of rotation that is omega is mentioned by different bond angles so when it uh, rotate partially or else fully that is no matter either in, in its trans conformation or else in its cis conformation the, these bond angles between C alpha carbon and nitrogen atom is denotes as a phi and the bond angle between C alpha carbon and carbon atom is denotes as psi so this phi and psi angles are nothing but known as conformational angles or we can say that uh, torsion angles or as dihedral angles another second important note is on Ramachandran plot so this different bond angles that is doesn't matter either phi or psi angles that values lies between minus 180 to plus 180 degree so this among them some values of this torsion angles are inhibited by peptide backbone and some values are allowed so this inhibited values are sometimes due to the presence of some amino acid side chains it is disallowed conformation so this permitted values of torsion angles phi either phi or either psi that is given by scientist Ramachandran and uh, due to this his honor this plot is named as Ramachandran plot so this bright region named A and B contains beta sheets and B contains allowed conformation of right handed alpha helix whereas the region named C contains left-handed alpha helix 
and this white region contains a sterically disallowed conformation whereas this less bright region nearer to a and nearer to b contains a possible conformation that has chances to be to comes into this allowed or else disallowed conformation and that totally depends on uh, van der waals interaction if van der waals forces are stronger then there are chances that this conformation come into the allowed one if van der waals forces are not so much strong that it comes to this white category okay so i hope you will understand this notes in a well manner thank you have a nice day